Hello, it's me. I'm in the tent. Just making a, a, a short video about the importance of marketing, brand image, and so on. In obviously most things, but particularly in fragrance, like it's uh, I think sales and success of a brand is mainly down to sort of projection, projection, you know, targeting basically. How do you a uh, your ability to project your brand into the field of attention of uh, you know a target audience? Oh, fuck off, dog! Thinks it's a fucking wolf. Um, and like this company in particular, in terms of like perfume scents, are like it's so fucking cheesy it hurts. But they are like almost like supplementing the. Um, the brand image with the over the, over the top uh, arty text. Fuck off, dog! <laughs> Literally every time I want to say emphasize something, it just. But the the new company. <laughs> Fuck it. Right. But just look at this. Look, I'm gonna carry on because they got. It's gonna get called in. That's it. Um, but look at this fucking company, the new company, Forest Lungs. It's so, oh, it's painful, but paint Forest Lungs, 50 mils, and you you imagine, like, how much, um, yeah, how many people, obviously, due to, purely just by the, the language, uh, obscure, esoteric use of language in this type of field, um, and you look at the price and so on, and the, and you consider the possible benefits. Um, you know, forest lungs, 50 mils. Uh, unisex anti-stress fragrance supp supplement. The fr for one, it's like supplements, a fragrance supplement. What the fuck is a fragrance supplement? It supplements the fragrance, or it is just a, a fragrance that delivers the healing effects of nature on the body. So it uses natural ingredients, then I'm thinking, using olfactory chemistry. What the fuck? What, like the phenomenon of, of smell? Do you know I mean? And patented technology. What the fuck have they patented? Immediately, you know, it could be something r like completely redundant or defunct. But the fact that we don't know what it is and the fact that they've supposedly or allegedly got this uh, patent for this technology makes us uh, makes a lot of people think, ooh, wonder what to so, Well, you've got my attention to bring the outside in. I mean, you could just go outside, simple. 96% felt less stressed after using forest lungs, you know. I mean, compared to what, what were they doing previous? Like, it's just woody and smoky with clean resin and tart citrus notes. Vetiver cedar with benzoin, pine patchouli bag, well, all ingredients you can just, like, buy yourself and learn and educate yourself and make up your own sort of mixture. But, you know, it's beside the point, perhaps, for these guys. Stress a blend, their special blend leads to a release, a relief in stress levels. Look at that, f ninety-five fucking dollars. You <laughs> fifty mils. You, you know, what I mean, that their markup is tremendous. Um, and so the um, the veneer that they're presenting it in, like it's mostly that, because you think about it. If I I could make the most glorious um, perfume or scent and and put it in one of those fucking shitty atomizers. No one the fuck it doesn't matter what the fuck you know what I mean it looks like fucking shit. So I'm so like that's you know, once I've got a nice fragrance I wanna mark it, it's all about the aesthetic and uh but although I'll I think I'll dispense with the shitty, cheesy, arty language. Um oh then you then you, you see you you're interested, you wanna find out why it works perhaps. Let's look into the science of it. Some funny looking one thing, a tick for like yes, like correct and this like wand type fucking thing sort of dispensing like a magical effect on on the answer hope you know probably the average american now here comes the hard data the average american now spends over 90 percent of their time indoors great and by uh, i mean is that all the time and by 2050 it's estimated that's you know 39 years from now, or 29 years from now, it's estimated that 75% of the global population will live in cities. I mean, those two are completely not connected. You can be 
in a city and you can also spend most of your, your time outdoors. It doesn't mean you necessarily are indoors just because you live in a city. Yet we're hardwired to need, need nature. I mean, yet. What's the yet with? Yet we're hardwired. I mean, it's just all, you know, it's so fucking shit. The biophilia hypothesis, some some science you've never heard of before, defines our p- pull to nature as the, in, you know what I mean, as our innate hum- human affinity for life and other, other living things resulting from millions of years of exposure and adap- adaptation. I mean, evolution, in a nutshell, we like nature, you know, there's no surprise, no surprise, no, nothing new there. Spending time in nature stimulates our parasympathetic uh, nervous system and reduces stress and anxiety. We know that while living, while city living is associated associated with higher prevalence of mental health issues. I mean, again, you know, two unconnected sort of things being uh, um, brought together to seem as though they are like cause and effect. One leads to the other. Um, inspired by the concept of medicalizing na- medicalizing nature, what the fuck? You, you who, the, who the fuck are you? Who do you, th- who do you think you are? Forest lungs uses uh, olfactory chemistry, like the phenomenon of smell, and patents and technology. This fucking thing you're never going to find out about, which they claim to have, to replicate the molecular compounds produced by trees. You know, why not just use what trees already do? Uh, fight inside are credited for positive health benefits associated with forest bathing, namely stress reduction. Forest bathing, what the fuck? Walking through a forest, enjoying the fucking the ambience, the, the the atmosphere, the environment itself, becoming one with nature. Even like that's fine. Forest bathing, fuck off. Anxiety reduction and um, boosting the parasympathetic brackets rest nervous system. Credited by world-renowned perfumer Gourami Flavigny, recipient of the Prix International du Jeune Parfumeur Critiquier. Forest Lungs is a sensory supplement, sensory supplement designed to support the reduction of everyday stress. You smell it, it's nice, and you feel better for it. 96, and then comes the stats. 96% felt less stress within 30 minutes of using Forest Lungs. 92 I mean, do you know, it's like it, it's 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 so fucking shit. Like it makes you almost like ninety six percent better within thirty minutes. You know, morons will sort of think that after reading it. Ninety ninety two percent felt calmer within thirty minutes using forest lungs in in capital letters. Obviously, eighty seven percent felt that the everyday stress levels were lower after using forest lungs for thirty days. 91% felt their anxiety levels were reduced after using forest lungs for 30 days. Research conducted by ourselves, of course, last year. I mean, what the fuck is this shit? Interaction with nature has proven to support our physiological and psychological. We know that, yeah, look at this bit. Immunity in this last bit. I, think, I mean, this bit is a bit sloppy. Scientific research, you know, no, no trace of it, um, shows that phytonocytes once inhaled Significantly increased levels of uh, of natural killer cells, NK brackets. What the shit in the human system? And then there's a powerful connection. So we know this bit between cognitive function and the olfactory system. I mean, during, in order to sort of like make sense of anything, just you smell. You need to have a fucking brain. Certain scents can elicit certain reactions within the body. No shit. No physically and psychologically. No shit. For forest lungs is proven to reduce stress. Yeah, you keep saying, okay, and you go on down. And look at this. This is the this is the interesting part. You plus new. It's like a combination, a, 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 a coupling. And, it's, and, and then the, they have this part which sort of prescribes it as, sort of, almost encourages you to look at it as a medicine, this fucking fragrance supplement. When? When should I use it? Daily. Or as required. So, whenever. You know. How should I use it? Spray onto your risks and inhale for eight, hold for four, exhale for eight, what the fuck, those two plus sprays, friends are plus enemies, <laughs> friends plus enemies, for full body stress support, try pairing with mood another product, I mean 91% and then you hit you with all the fucking shit, I mean, 
absolute garbage. But you know, look at this. But the reviews, people loving this shit. Seventy-five percent, one hundred fifty-nine people saying five. Obviously, we don't know who these people are. Probably just like homemade, because the the reviews I've actually sort of read um, are actually yeah, the 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 they the, the, the shred them apart saying. Everything in the, all the ingredients are completely synthetic. Uh, there's nothing na- you know, natural about them whatsoever. They're just like you know, just like synthetic uh, chemicals you can buy off any sort of site, put together and just um, and it's literally just the the marketing. So um, I mean, it's and these are like charging top dollar, but it's it's a great place to just sort of get some ideas for what um, what is good about this in terms of like getting people's tensioning and, and garnering sales and what is just like too too low for any um, human being with uh, an ounce of, uh, of self-respect.